Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In our previous video, we talked about monetary supply, its meaning, its tools and how those tools are implemented during various economic situations such as during inflation and during recession. In this video, we shall take a look at fiscal policy. Well, it is really important to understand that fiscal policy holds a great importance, especially amongst the policy makers as it is a powerful tool that will not only help these policy makers to manage economic cycles, address unemployment, promote equitable distribution of resources, but at the same time promoting economic growth. Effective implementation of fiscal policies could contribute to overall economic health, ensuring stability and a nation's socio-economic well-being. So without wasting any time further, let's get started. So as we can see, fiscal policy relates with all the policies that are implemented by the government. Now fiscal comes from a word which is fisc and fisc in simple terms means a state treasury or the treasury of the state or of the government. So to simply put that, we can say that fiscal policy aim at using the government treasury to achieve various macroeconomic goals. So we have specifically written macroeconomic goals. So through budget decisions or we can say through budgetary decisions, any government would want to achieve these macroeconomic goals, uh, which we shall be discussing over in the next slide. Now there are two school of thoughts when it comes to the importance of fiscal policy. The first school of thought is the classical school and it believed that government should play a bare minimum role in the economic activity and hence it focused mainly on laissez faire. However, during the 1930s, J.M. Keynes suggested that government has an indeed a, a very important role to play in maintaining the economic stability, employment and growth. And hence, it is utterly important for government to be an equal participant in making all the decisions with regards to macroeconomic objectives and attaining those. When we talk about the tools of fiscal policy, we have three tools here. One is the tool of taxation, where we focus on two types of taxation. One is the direct and indirect. The second is government spending. Again, there are various types and various ways in which a government would want to spend. So overall, we'll talk about the total spending of the government. And the third one is the borrowings made by the government. We could call them as government borrowing or public borrowing. The first objective is stabilizing the economy. So economic instability can be caused by a variety of factors and its origin are often complex, but many times they are connected. Say for example, instability may arise due to financial crisis within the society or probably there is excessive debt or probably there have been some policy mistakes, there, there could be some political instability, there could be natural disasters like the pandemic we uh, all experienced in 2020 or there could be inflationary or recessionary pressures in the economy. So fiscal policy would help us to counteract these economic cycles or business cycles. Say for example, if there is a slowdown in the economy, a fiscal policy that can be implemented could be expansionary in nature with increased government spending accompanied by tax cuts. Another objective of the fiscal policy would be to achieve full employment. Now, fiscal policy measures, especially which are focused on infrastructural projects or job training programs, could help reduce unemployment and increase employment levels within the economy. Another objective is price stability. It is really important to control inflation and fiscal policy can be used to control inflation by bringing down the aggregate demand. And measures like increased taxes or reduced government spending could be used to bring down the inflationary trend and establish price stability. Another objective is sustainable economic growth. For any economy, sustainable economic growth plays a crucial role and governments may use fiscal policy to promote long-term economic growth by investing in infrastructural projects such as transport, communication, energy to increase productivity and competitiveness. This is another 
very important objective of a fiscal policy which is called as redistribution of income and wealth. Fiscal policy particularly with the help of progressive taxes and targeted social spending can help to bring down income inequalities and promote a more equitable distribution of wealth. Another such objective would be to encourage investment and innovation. Fiscal policies can help increase investment in innovation and technology through policies like tax credits or offering deductions for research and development. There are two types of fiscal policy. One is the expansionary fiscal policy and the other one is a contractionary fiscal policy. An expansionary fiscal policy is focused on increasing the government spending and reducing taxes. These policies are generally implemented during the recessionary time phase. Contractionary policy on the other hand is focusing on increasing the tax revenue collected by the government and reducing its spending. These policies are generally implemented during the inflation. If you do not understand the concept of expansionary and contractionary and why they are uh, implemented during recession and inflation respectively, please take a look at my tools of monetary policy video. It will give you a better understanding of why these policies are implemented specifically during recession and inflation. Now let's quickly take a look at a difference between fiscal and monetary policies. So fiscal policy as the name indicates uh, is implemented by the government whereas monetary policy is implemented by the central bank of a country. Fiscal policy uses tools of government spending and taxation whereas monetary policy has two tools which are money supply and rate of interest and that can be influenced with the use of quantitative and qualitative tools of credit control. The main aim of fiscal policy is to achieve various macroeconomic objectives whereas monetary policy mainly focuses on maintaining price stability. Fiscal policy will always have a strong political influence specifically with regards to an increase in the tax rate or a cut in the tax rate. Whereas monetary policy since it is implemented by the central bank of the country is independent of political interference or political influence. Fiscal policies are also known as the supply side policies since they are more focused on increasing the productivity and production capacities within the country. Monetary policies are more focused on the demand side of the country either increasing or decreasing it and hence they are generally referred to as the demand side policies. An expansionary fiscal policy could lead to a liquidity trap situation whereas an expansionary monetary policy could lead to a crowding out effect. There's one more point which I did not write here, but I would like to talk about it. Fiscal policy generally have a longer time lag, whereas monetary policies generally have a shorter time lag when it comes to implementation and the results from that particular policy. Children, if you find my videos useful, please do like and subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends. I shall meet you in another video with another topic. Bye now. Take care.